Hey, what's up guys? Austin back again. I've got a, a couple sealed Jaguar games here, a couple brand new factory sealed games. Uh, for you guys that aren't all that familiar with the Atari Jaguar, know that you can actually still buy a lot of games brand new sealed in packaging just like this. And I wanted to show you that, uh, well, they're pretty easily, easily obtainable. They're not too hard to come by. Uh, Iron Soldier here, brand new sealed. I actually got on eBay. I think it was about $10 after shipping. Very cheap. Likewise with Theme Park right here, this was about $10 after shipping as well. Maybe $12 or $13, I don't remember the, the, I don't remember the specific details, but it, was, it wasn't that expensive at all. Um, now for some of you guys out there just trying to get into the Jaguar, uh, some of these brand new sealed games are definitely the way to go, because they're not that much more expensive than the original uh, used product. Um, and I also wanted to uh, kind of use this video uh, to show you guys what uh, sealed Jaguar games actually look like. Now some some stores, online stores like East Starland, they actually shrink wrap all their product. Um, so for the uneducated person, um, they can be a little misleading. You might get a game from a place like Starland or another store that might shrink wrap their used product and you might think it's brand new uh, if you haven't had a whole lot of experience with them. And so for Jaguar games, if they are factory sealed, which what you're gonna look for is actually this back uh, seal right here or this sort of pattern with the, uh, the shrink wrap. Some games also have a little hang tab right here, uh, so they can hang uh, from from uh, little bars. I totally forget what you call them. It's been a while since I worked in retail. <laughs> but uh, yeah, these are factory sealed games. And keep in mind that there's still a lot of these factory sealed games floating out there. If you go on eBay and you find a game like Iron Soldier, someone has it sealed, typically it'll be like, you can see the quantity and it'll say, 10 copies left or something like that or 10 plus and other places like um bnc computer visions i think they have brand new sealed jaguar games still um, best electronics they still have brand new sealed jaguar products um, they're a little more expensive so sometimes ebay is a better way to go and going through places like uh, classic game source or video game source um, they're one of the other uh, distributors that got a hold of a lot of uh, jaguar product in the uh, the 90s so but uh don't even don't feel bad about opening these either. I know some of you guys are collectors out there. I mean, maybe if you run into like an Atari carts and it's sealed, maybe you might want to leave it sealed if you're a hardcore collector. I say still open it because the more used games that are out there playable, probably um, the lower the prices will be in the market. More people can get a hold of them and actually play them and not have them sitting on a shelf or in a safe somewhere. So, but uh, yeah, part of this video is I also wanted to show you uh, what the inside of a brand new game looks like. It's nothing special. Uh, this is mainly just for you guys out there that are not really that familiar with the Atari Jaguar. So here we go, we're opening up Theme Park. And uh, typical Jaguar games have the old holograph or hologram uh, Jaguar sticker, it's pretty cool. I think you can actually get some more of those holograms on eBay and places like that. But uh, these boxes are nice and crisp, they actually hold uh, fairly well. They're they're about Super Nintendo size actually. I think they're at the exact same dimensions except the Jaguar boxes go vertically instead of horizontally. And um, well yeah, you can just crack it open. Try to be somewhat careful with it. And we'll just pull everything out. So Jaguar game manuals were typically black and white and multi-language as well. It's a pretty thick manual, but it's got multiple languages. Just like, uh, this is a later release game, but on the early release games, there were also multiple languages on the back of the box as well. So, but your typical cartridge is gonna also come like this in some wrapping. It's just taped together, so you can just take it off, pull the cartridge out, and voila, that's it. That's a Jaguar cartridge for you guys that aren't very familiar with the system. I really like the cartridges in the Jaguar. They're very cool looking. They're some of my favorite looking cartridges out there. People complain because there aren't any labels on the top. As you can see, there's no label. But just the curvature of it, uh, the mold, it's just an Atari on the back. It actually says Atari. It's pretty cool. I like Jaguar cartridges a lot. They're very cool looking. By far my favorite looking cartridges. So, um, a theme park is a bit of an exception. Sometimes they have other advertisements in these. Theme park apparently does not and did not. So let's go ahead and crack open Iron Soldier. And I'm probably gonna actually play these tonight. <laughs> At least Iron Soldier. Iron Soldier is a personal favorite of mine when it comes to Jaguar games. And it's, it's a highly recommended game if you're into a hybrid of 
realistic and arcade style mech action. It's a very good game, definitely a showcase title for the Atari Jaguar, uh, highly recommended. But let's go ahead and crack that bad boy open. Unfortunately, this box got a little crushed a tiny bit in the mail. The guy actually I bought both these from, he put both of them together in a bubble envelope and which I don't really worry about too much if they're for instance like this brand new product they're nice and packed in and it's not like the box has already been crushed before so it's not going to get crushed as easily as a prior used product that's already been smushed or something like that but uh, I'm not too worried about it Iron Soldier is a very cheap game so I don't really care all that much so here we got the instruction manual but we've also got a few um, registration cards and uh, the advertisement for the Jaguar Gamer's Guide or the official Gamer's Guide to the Atari Jaguar. If I remember correctly, this was actually a very, very cool uh, sort of massive strategy guide that talks about the system and it interviews some of the guys that worked on some of the games, I believe. I think I think it t they talked to Jeff Minter who made uh, Tempest 2000 and uh, Defender 2000. Very cool guide and here's the old registration card. Send to Atari Corporation, P.O. Box 61657, Sunnyvale, California, 94088. <laughs> cool stuff. So, and our uh, our cartridge comes wrapped in the typical nature. But Iron Soldier is one of those games that also has an overlay, so the overlay will come packed inside with the cartridge, just like that. So. And again, there's the cartridge for Iron Soldier. Very common game. You can get these cartridges only for probably about five bucks, maybe less. And a complete copy used generally runs you about seven or eight dollars. But uh, if you're just getting into the Jaguar, I, I say just go all out, buy it brand new. Crack that bad boy open and uh, enjoy it like it's uh, 1994. <laughs> so with that, guys, I'm going to go ahead and just wrap this up. I thought this video might be kind of interesting for some people that aren't familiar with the Jaguar and that's the thing for those that are not familiar with the Jaguar. Uh, one more thing, one thing I actually like to do is um, I put the cartridges just back in like that. Sometimes I keep the wrapping in there just for shits and grins. I don't even know why it doesn't even really matter that much. But the manual, you notice how the box comes out like this, like that. I usually put the manual back uh, behind it like so. So, and just like that. When the game comes packaged, the cartridge is up, the manual is usually on top. So when I put it back and I close it, the, the flap here oftentimes actually kind of cripples the manual a little bit or some pages. So what I usually do is when I, I get, get a new game like this, I take the manual out and I flip it to the other side so uh, it doesn't get touched and damaged. So just a little bit of the collector side in me. <laughs> I'm not a super picky collector. There are some people out there that are absurdly picky collectors. I'm not one of them uh, for the most part. And uh, you know, for instance, I just got my uh, my registration cards mixed up. Oh well, it's going with theme park. I don't really care. <laughs> I'll switch them back out down the road. But uh, so yeah, that's basically it, guys. Thanks for watching and. Uh, yeah, for you guys that are new to the Jaguar, um, you know, check out some brand new games just like this. So, anyways, until next time, guys, take care.